All right, this is the new uh, Sunlu T3. Same size as the Ender 3 series. And that's the longer LK1. This is warming up now. Just figuring out my uh, defense kitties. Started out with this guy, too thick, brought him down. And then this is like the final. So we're gonna see how quick this quick printer is. We're gonna print two. Heats up pretty quick. like how it has a light that shows the, the heat bed. It's a very nice extruder. Then you got the clog detector. Power supply on the side. Setting this up was 10 minutes. It's a very fast setup. And I'm used to the screen or the, um, you know, using the button to move through the menu because it is like the Ender. Where the longer LK1s, they're touch screen. All right. So we're going to go to print from SD. And there it's off. So right now, it's checking the level. There's a little probe that pops out. There's that pro. Now, when I got this very easy setup, just screw in there, just screw in there. But these nuts had to be tightened. These nuts had to be, or this one nut rather, had to be tightened, and this nut right there had to be tightened. And I'm not used to that. Um, they came pretty well set. They came longer. I, I can't say anything bad about that LK1. Um, and then I have another LK1 there. But this one is quick. It does go through this process every time. I just got the printer, so there might be a way to make it not do it every time. But yeah, watch this. Probably could have moved that other kitty over just a little bit, but um, it should be fine there. This is just a rough draft. But that's it's pretty quick. Okay, so the base layer is down and it's on high quality, but still fast mode printing. It's printing pretty fast, but not as fast as um, these prior kitties. Um, but I just didn't like the quality of that top layer compared to my version one. My camp buddies, I think. I think that's what I'm going to call them, camp buddies. So you don't get attacked by bears. 
All right. So here we are again with the Sunlu T3. Now this is honestly the second print I've done on this, um, and it, you know the first print I did had I had it on fast mode and it was fast. It was even faster than what you've seen on here. Um, I decided to turn fast mode off and just try to get the best version of this new design. Um, I don't really want to waste film it and I want to make sure my little creation here is uh, is up to par and then I can play with the speed settings and just make another video showing the fast version of this. Um, everything is working great. Uh, the extruder is amazing. Um, at first it was a little hard trying to figure out how to put that in. But the instructions are right there um and even you know this is the first time i'm using this filament i'm not even using sun loop filament me so sorry um that i'm not using your filament right now um i have all that gst 3d to 3d to go through um but uh yeah i'm definitely looking at getting the Sunlu Meta um, filament and really cranking out some speeds with some of my designs. We've got some holders going on here. Apologize for all the, the dust here. It's also my paint booth. Um, I just cover the machines up. I'm trying to use this little little spot I got for making all sorts of cool stuff but uh, thank you Sunlu for, for for this this is a really nice really nice printer and uh, so here we are still printing uh, two hours like I said I turned fast mode off I'm trying to get um, really the best the best print right now that I can get and then increase speed as it goes. Um, I'm using an Ender 3 Cura Profile. There's no Sunlu Cura Profiles in the, the new Cura 5.2.1 I believe is the newest. Um, so I'm using an Ender 3 and just messing with some settings and uh, you know even without fast mode on it's still 10 times faster than what I got going on over here with the LK1. But the LK1s are a beast. Once you get them set, they just last forever. You know, just with the settings, they, they're they real solid. Real solid printers. Um, this one, I'm mucho excited to uh, add it to my arsenal. One thing I do notice, though, is here, there we go, here, there's, it's like a piece of rubber, and I don't know if that's supposed to be in there, if you look over at the Ender 3s, they got nothing, and if you look at the LK1s, they got a bearing, no, it, I think that's a great idea, um, just want to make sure I got this set up correctly if that rubber is supposed to be in there anybody can comment and these are the hopefully the finished version of my angry cat camping buddy camp buddy I don't know if it should be camp buddy camping buddy my thought process is throwing these on a uh, lanyard in your tent when you're sleeping if anybody attacks you, there you go. At least you got something. Um, I'd really hate for these to be used for a malicious purpose um, and harming anybody. But um, I know when I go camping, my kids like being in a tent all by themselves. That's kind of where I got the idea of the original defense kitty. Um, and these are just a little bit more burly. Uh, the eye holes are smaller, so it's not really like a 
knuckle blaster or a, a brass knuckle per se. Um, not really as sharp as the original, but uh, it's going to include a, a lanyard. Uh, it's probably going to come in a pair, so you get two with a lanyard. And uh, just be a good idea to hang it up in your tent. So if uh, there's any trouble, you have something. All right. And I didn't catch the end. It just ended now. And um, yeah, looks a lot better. A lot better. Once you um, turn down the speed. All together it took four hours. Yeah, it's still hot. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for uh, staying tuned and we'll definitely make some more.